So I was one of the first young ladies in my age yeah. to kind of choose another path, not go through with the with the path that I was supposed to. Share us more. How's life as a princess from Bahrain? Well, <laughs> <laughs> how's life as a princess there? Um, mm-hmm. uh, I I don't know. Like, from what what perspective would you want to know? Like, um, like, do you felt like uh, people treat you differently, or like, do you have like a like a huge castle, or no? Because if I uh, <laughs> imagine of a princess, especially like. From like Disney, a, yeah, from <laughs> Arab, you know, like I suddenly imagine like a Princess Jasmine, you oh. know, I live in a castle, and then like, um, you know, okay, <laughs> well, because I sell, I, I mean, it's not every day I met a princess, right? Okay, mm-hmm. well, um, yes, you do have certain expectations, mm-hmm. and yes, you are treated in a in a in a certain way. Mm-hmm. You have to act and be in a certain way mm. because um being a princess is not just being fancy and living in a castle mm. but it's also a responsibility of a very big name that you mm. carry and you have to before anyone else you have to respect that mm. uh, it's not an easy title you know you cannot disrespect the name you cannot do something stupid and and, yeah. and then you know like oh sorry no that's not how it works so it's It's actually a big responsibility that you have to represent it the best, mm. the, the best way you can. Um, but of course, there are certain traditions and and there are certain things that you have to, uh, I guess, follow, mm. which I didn't. Mm. So I had to choose a different way because, um, you know, like... Um, There is there is a certain path mm. that is 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 expected uh, from you to follow for mm-hmm. the for the for the um, the the girls from the from the mm. royal family, oh. let's say, and um, at a certain age uh, to be married. Mm. Not only from royalties, but a, as Arabs from okay. the Middle East, there well, is. What a is certain the average age like for a woman to get 18, to be married? Eighteen. Yeah. Wow. But. We're we are evolving. We okay. are developing. the The society is is getting much more open minded, mm-hmm. uh, as my family also is okay. is getting more open minded in these decisions, and which may which comforts my heart a lot, you know. But uh, when I started working though, or when I started choosing my path, that was a long time ago, mm. and at that time that it wasn't it wasn't accepted mm. yet. Mm. Um, so I was one of the first. Uh, young ladies in my age yeah. to kind of choose another path, not go through with the with the path that I was supposed to. Mm. So um, it wasn't a, a, a it wasn't it wasn't as easy at at the at the time that I started yeah. at because that was almost ten nine ten. years ago. Yeah. So social media wasn't that strong. Uh, it wasn't like now, uh, now how it is now, you know, mm. like everyone is using social media. It's normal. But mm. at that time for uh, a young, very young uh, girl to yeah. and from the royal family to be in the public eye, to be as a public figure, to go on TV, mm. on media, on newspapers, it wasn't, it was like, Oh, that's wrong. What that's are you true. doing? Yeah, but I it was, is some things that is different from people's expectations, exactly. from your parents' expectations. Definitely, exactly. Right? You should, you know, uh, royalty should be, uh, um, mm. you, know, you know, like uh, covered or, mm. or, um, uh, I don't know what's the word to, for <laughs> how to put it, but uh, yeah, yeah. You, you should, you should not be in the light. Okay, and uh, especially as Arabs. It's, I'm not talking only about royalty. It's, mm. I'm talking about Middle East Arabs, okay. uh, the the Arabian families. Mm. So that wasn't that wasn't a, uh, an easy journey for mm. me to decide and 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 just pursue what I wanted to do against everyone's will and against mm. everyone's say. 
it wasn't an easy decision for me to to, yeah. to make because uh, I would face a lot of consequences. But I was very persistent. I was very stubborn, <laughs> <laughs> and okay. I just I just chose to go against the wall. Wow! <laughs> wow! Yeah. Um, but what makes you become so courageous? Like you know, to be able to take that bold step and like, okay, this is what um, the whole family is expected me to be, but this is the path that I'm choosing, you know? like To be honest, if you're asking me today, mm -hmm. I can give you so many reasons. Mm -hmm. But if you were asking the 20-year-old of me mm -hmm. version, I would tell you I was just stubborn enough to to stand my grounds and refusing something that I don't want to do. Mm. That's it. That's that, At that time, that was my reason. Mm. I don't want, I was expected to study law mm. or architect. That oh. was my dad's choice. Okay. My mom's choice was interior designing. <laughs> okay. So they already planned yes. your future. Yes, yes. And, right? the, and, the, and the university, which okay. university I can go and which I, university I cannot oh, go okay. and or enroll. And um, after, and, and I'm not. It's not acceptable to to study uh, to study and work mm. to have a job at the same time. Mm. You finish your uh, your degree, and then you, if you want to work, you can. If not, then wait for a husband. Oh. That's practically life. Okay. I just knew at that time that's not what I want to do. Mm. I didn't know what I wanted to do. By the way, mm. I just knew is that. That is not what I want to do. Mm. What instead? I had no idea. Mm. But because I was still very young. But I just knew that I have more to give. Okay. I want more from life. Wow. And that's how I made my decision not to listen. And I said, no, I want to. Uh, uh, in fact, that's I'll tell you a secret. Yeah. But don't tell anyone. <laughs> Uh, I was enrolled, so because I, you know, I was I was still young, so they had, like, uh, they're my parents, obviously, yeah. so they have power on me. So they enrolled me into the university that they want, mm -hmm. and eventually I chose political science. Mm. Okay, and that university in, in London. No, I started in in the UAE. Oh, okay. So I I'm based in the U. Mm -hmm. I I grew up in the UAE in mm -hmm. Abu Dhabi. Anyways, so I was enrolled in that in that uh, university, mm -hmm. and it wasn't the university that I wanted. Mm -hmm. So I studied for two courses, and I kept asking them to to um, change my university, but they they would they wouldn't listen to me. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like no, you have to continue, and this is the only choice. And uh, if you you're not continuing here, then there's you're not gonna study. Yeah. So I said okay. I went back to the university. I uh, had them kick me out, <laughs> expel me. <laughs> okay. So I got an expulsion. Expel. I, I got expelled from the university. Okay. And I went back home and I gave my mom. I was like, "Here you go." Wow. And she was in shock. She was like, "What? Why?" I, said, I don't know. I mean, like, how do you get expelled? I said, like, you purposely don't study, and then, like, I purposely you didn't go to. You didn't go for the classes yeah, for okay. like a month. Oh wow! All right. <laughs> so, yeah, and then <laughs> I got the paper like you're not, uh, nah, 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 you're not attending, blah blah blah, and, mm. and you're you're expelled. Mm -hmm. So I took the paper to my mom's like mm. university expelled me. Like, Why? I don't know. Mm. I don't know. They're dumb. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't. I don't want to go back there. Halas. I'm mm. done. Mm. And I was like uh, causing drama. And I was. I was 19. Okay. I was. I was still uh, very young. I was 19. Yeah. But anyways, eventually I did what I wanted. Right. Mm. So I'm. I'm out of that university. Okay. So now what, Jawahar? What do you want to do? It's like I want to go to the American University in Dubai mm. because mm. it's the. Uh, the, the curriculum that I understand, which mm. is because I was educated in English mm. in school. And uh, I want to have a job mm. because I want to do both at, at the same time. And that's it. That's what I want to do. And they said no. 
Oh, but I still, still did it. They are still persistent. <laughs> yeah, of course. No. Yeah. Of course. Uh, how do you manage to like compromise, or how do you manage, you know, like for for them to get give you that approval? I I didn't get it at the beginning. <laughs> okay. All right. I didn't get it, mm-hmm. but I still did it. Mm. I was very stubborn. It's so like, okay, fine. I'm not gonna study. Okay. I at that point, I just had. I was very young. Mm. Again, mm. I'm not saying be stubborn on your parents, but I'm. I'm. What I'm saying is, if you have, yeah. if you believe that you have, there's a path that you want to follow. If you believe that there's something that you want to do, even if everyone is against you, you mm. still can. That's mm. what I'm saying. Mm. Maybe at that time I was wrong. Maybe the way I pursued it was wrong. Mm. But I was stubborn enough to stand my grounds and say, no, mm. I want to study. I am good. In, in I'm intelligent. I am good. Mm. I'm not lazy. And that's why I'm dropping out. No, okay. it's just that I want to choose for myself. Okay. And I had that conversation with my mom and with my dad. My dad's background is from the military, so he's more strict. Yeah. Um, so that was a difficult conversation. Okay. But uh, eventually they were like, okay, listen, if you choose that you want to do this, mm. then you do it on your own. Mm. We're not going to help. Mm. And it was a private university, so I had to pay. Mm. So still, I went, I looked, I applied for so many jobs. Eventually, I got a call. I was uh, I was hired. I actually hid my full name. Mm-hmm. I just put Jawahar Khalifa so yeah. no one knows who I am. Mm-hmm. So that for them to accept me. So they, I, they did. And then I had to learn how to manage uh, my... My money, my allowance, mm. so that I can pay for a university, I can pay for a car. And wow. I had to go to teach myself how to drive. Mm. So I had to do these things because they were, uh, I mean, my, my father is educated. My mm. mom, my mm. mo- mom is educated. Mm. Um, and my father is educated abroad, actually. So to a certain point, he is, uh, he's, he understands, like you know. But again, I'm a I'm a young girl. Yeah, I'm his young girl. Yeah, it doesn't matter whatever I say. I'm still his young baby, you know. And and at that time, things that I'm asking for is very new. Mm. No one ever did it before. Mm. So and it's it different from the, the, yeah. the common things. Yeah. yeah. But I guess um, when you share this, um, and I, I do hope and I, I believe a lot of, you know, like young people, they get inspirations also for them to to know what they want to do in life and choose that path. But at the same time, be responsible for that path because from what you share, even though at that time you're still a teenager and, and, and the way you, you do it is maybe a little bit different like like for example like uh, being expelled from the school and so on but it's because you have uh, a reasons right you choose for a reasons you choose to do your things um, because you have a purpose and it's for a good purpose right and the most important thing is not just about making choice but be responsible for that choice exactly. so even you know like when your parents give you an options okay if this is the path that you choose Take responsibility. Yeah, take responsibility. Be independent. Again, I'll tell you, if, you, mm-hmm. if you're talking to the 19 years old mm-hmm. version of me, I wouldn't tell you that at that time I did this because I knew that I, this is who I, I mm-hmm. would become. Mm-hmm. I just knew that there is more in, in me and mm-hmm. I wanted more. Okay. I didn't know what was it or where am I going to, to end up eventually. Mm-hmm. I, I didn't know. And it's okay to not know because mm-hmm. not knowing made me try different things i tried different jobs i tried different businesses i okay. failed i woke i came back up um but most importantly as you said one mm. maybe one of the reasons why uh, being successful is possible for me at a young age mm. is because i took responsibility of my decision mm. i never from that so when when that point happened where they eventually agreed for me to do what I want, but okay. they're not responsible for it anymore and not, they're not going to pay for it. And yeah. uh, and they thought, they thought as any other parent, they thought that I will be back okay. very soon, <laughs> you know, uh, asking to, to go back 
under the wing yeah. of the mom and dad and, yeah. and them paying for everything and just, you know, relaxing in life. Mm. Um, sometimes I have a conversation with my mom mm-hmm. up to this th- this year, like now. Mm-hmm. And she's like, I, I, we're, I'm really shocked that you never came back any yani, asking for, for money mm. or whatever, you know. I just took responsibility of my decision and I had so much pride mm. i i don't want them to see me like a failure yeah and so i i took it upon myself that i'm not i'm never asking for a penny okay ever again and there were there were difficult times mm. there were so much so many difficult times where i have nothing i would still not ask i live in the mm. house mm. i eat and drink in the house yeah uh, obviously but I'm I'm talking about outside. Yeah. When you go outside, when you own your own car, you want to pay for your own gas. Yeah. You want a snack. There yeah, are times because that I, when you live with them, basically you don't need to work. Um, you exactly. Know, you, you get everything, everything fully is provided, there. right? Yeah. It's a privilege, yeah. But now you choose to work in order for you to get money to like pay for your Provide, own for expenses. my own stuff. Exactly. Yeah. 